Hey, what's up guys? Shane Graham here, back with another drum lesson. Today I'll be talking about another one of my favorite classic drummers, the great Mitch Mitchell. We'll go through five grooves of his from the Jimi Hendrix experience. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, and let's dive right in. Mitch Mitchell, most famously, was the great drummer behind the Jimi Hendrix experience. He was a jazz drummer at heart, taking influence from some of the masters, including Alvin Jones, Billy Joe Jones, and Max Roach. Hendrix called them his personal Alvin Jones, Mitch was a very musical drummer, incorporating a lot of rudiments and improvisation into his playing. Let's break down some of his classic grooves. First up is Purple Haze, released in 1967 from RU Experience. We'll be looking at the first four bars of the chorus. We'll begin by playing the crash and the kick on beat 1 and then 8th notes on the ride for the rest of the bar. Next add the snare on beat 2, the uh of 2, beat 4, the uh of 4, and the kick on 3 and. This will be the same groove for bars 1 and 3. For bar 2, play the ride on 1 and 2 and the kick on 1 and the snare on beat 2 and the uh of 2. Then the last two beats are a fill on the snare, 3 E and a 4 E and, accent beat 3 and accent the and of 4. Bar 4 is practically the same except you'll play the end of 4 on the rag tom. Second, we have Manic Depression, also from Are You Experience. This is a very cool jazzy waltz kind of groove. Start by playing the bell of the ride on each quarter note. Next, add the third triplet partial of beat 1 and beat 2 on the ride. 1 and 2 and 3. Add in the snare on the third triplet partial of beat 1 and beat 2 with the ride. 1 and 2 and 3. Then add the 2nd and 3rd triplet partial of beat 3 on the rack tom. Finally, add the kick on all 3 quarter notes. Third, we have Fire, the quintessential Mitch Mitchell groove, also from Are You Experience. We'll be looking at the 10 bars of groove right after the intro section. This is a really cool up-tempo groove with lots of variations. I'll go bar by bar and then put the whole thing together for you at the end. We'll mainly be playing quarter notes on the open hi-hat with the exception of a few eighth notes. For bar 1, play quarter notes on the open hi-hat, the kick on beat 1, 3 and, and the and of 4, and the snare on beat 2, the uh of two and beat four. For bar two, play quarter notes on the hi-hat, the snare on two and four, the kick on one and, the and of two, the and of three, and the and of four. For bar three, play quarter notes on the hi-hat with the addition of the and of four. For the kick, play beat one, the and of two, the end of 3 and beat 4, and the snare play on beat 2, beat 3, and the end of 4. <music> For 
For bar 4, play the hi-hat on the end of 1, end of 2, 3, and, and beat 4. Add the kick on the end of 3 and the end of 4. Play the snare on the end of 1 as a ghost note, the end of 2, beat 3, and beat 4. Bar 5 is the same as bar 1. For bar 6, play quarter notes on the hi-hat, the snare on tune 4, and the kicks on all the ands. Bar 7 starts off the same way as bars 1 and 5, but then incorporates some cool syncopation on beats 3 and 4. Play the kick on 3 and the end of 4, play the snare on the E of 3, beat 4, and the uh of 4. Take this nice and slow. For bar 8, play the same syncopator pattern you did in bar 7 for beats 3 and 4, except for beat 4, don't play the uh of 4 on the snare. Bar 9 is the same pattern as bar 2 minus the kick on the end of 1. For bar 10, play quarter notes on the hi-hat, the snare on the end of 1 as a ghost note, and beat 2. Kick on beat 1, the end of 2, and the end of 3. Then for beat 4, play an 8th note on the snare, followed by 3 16th note triplets. Then for the next bar, just play a snare on the downbeat. Now, let's put it all together. Next, we have The Great Chorus Groove from Spanish Castle Magic, released in 1967 from Axis Bold as Love. Begin by playing eighth notes on the ride, the kick on beat one and three and, then add the snare on beat two, the uh of two, and the and of four. Lastly, we have Little Miss Lover, also from Axis Bold is Love. This is a really cool, groovy beat. There's a pickup leading into the groove, play a flam on beat 4, and then a regular stroke on the uh of 4. Then play quarter notes on the right as crashes, play the kick on 1 and a, the E of 2, and beats 3 and, play the snare on beat 2, the uh of 2, and beat 4.
There is so much to learn from studying Mitch Mitchell's drumming. He hardly ever played the same thing twice and always different live. He's one of the best. Have fun exploring Mitch's drumming and listening to the music of the great Jimi Hendrix. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time.